All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode with me, uh, Zuhair. Uh, today I want to do something a little bit different. So I've been getting a lot of questions on diet and macros and basically what to eat if you're trying to achieve a certain type of body, like if you're trying to add muscle or strength or uh, cut down and you know see those abs. So uh, in order for me to help just people in general, my friends, families, clients, uh, with those questions, I wanted to walk you guys through what I typically eat what I usually typically cook uh, and buy from the grocery store and hopefully these tips tips can help you out and towards the end of the video I'll walk you guys through how I count my macros and how you guys should count your macros uh, to see, achieve a certain type of look that you're looking for basically uh, whether it be to add mass or uh, I guess get rid of some fat so stay tuned and enjoy. All right, so uh, usually for a lot of my meals, I like to, uh, depends for lunch or dinner, I, usually, I like to throw in uh, like random veggies. So I'm not a huge vegetable person. So uh, what I like to do is get a bunch of like spinach or a salad mix and throw that into like a rice bowl uh, or if I'm making like a sandwich or something. Um, it just mix really, it mixes really well, well with carbs and protein and just throw in some type of uh, low calorie dressing and you're good to go. So uh, as far as the fruits go, I love fruits. So one of my favorite fruits is uh, a banana. Um, so the reason why I like this is it's high in carbs. So I think usually for one banana, it's like 30 grams of uh, carbs, but uh, it mixes well with like any kind of smoothies or uh, I like, what I like to do is throw it into my oatmeal, like chop it up or even throw it into like my cereal as well. It just tastes really good with milk. And then uh, if you're making like a protein shake, it mixes well with that as well. So I uh, definitely recommend trying that out if you're low on carbs and you want to throw in more protein and potassium. It helps with recovery too for uh, this muscle fatigue. All right, so as far as uh, vegetables go, another uh, very few of the vegetables that I do like are tomatoes. So again, I throw these into like my rice bowls or uh, yeah, usually with my rice bowls and salads. Um, but the nice thing about vegetables is it's practically like zero calories. So they taste good, they add volume to your food and you're getting that the vitamins in. So um, definitely check those out as well. All right, so I promise I eat more than fruits and vegetables, but um, another one of my favorite fruits is the grape. Uh, again, the reasoning is pretty similar behind the bananas. It just adds a little bit of extra carbs and you're getting those vitamins in. Uh, but be careful with fruits because although they taste good, they're very high in sugar. So you can easily, if you're cutting, um, you might easily add up the carbs. So uh, I really recommend tracking how much of you know each of the fruits you're eating. Um, but grapes compared to bananas and apples and other fruits in general are a lot less in calories. And again, it just adds a lot of volume. And it's a really nice snack to have if you're trying to avoid um, snacking on like, you know, I don't know, ice cream or cookies and stuff. So try it out as well. All right, so one of my favorite staple foods is the egg and the egg white. So I talk about this and you probably see it in my stories a lot. So I usually have this every single morning. So not the actual whole egg. What I do is I'll usually have like, I don't know, like six to eight egg whites. Um, and you, what you can do to save money, because I, I know it might add up if you're just getting the egg whites out of whole eggs, is you can actually buy the liquid, uh, what's it called, egg whites, which I do. But I usually throw in like one or two whole eggs into my breakfast, so I'll have it with like bagels, uh, muffins, or uh, if I'm making pancakes, obviously I'll throw it into there to add the volume too. But a very good way to uh, get in protein and avoid uh, like, I don't know, protein powder, or if you're, you're trying to avoid meat, then you don't have, really have to have as much chicken or beef later on in the day. So definitely recommend trying that out, especially early in the day. And it's very easy in the stomach and uh, low volume, so you won't feel bloated throughout the day as well. All right, so I mentioned um, dressing before. So, um, so this is actually a really good brand. I, I don't really talk about specific brands much, but I tried out, so I'm not a huge barbecue person, but I know they have like, um, I don't know, other types, so they have like uh, ketchup over there as well. Um, but the nice thing about this brand is it's zero uh, carbs, or sorry, two carbs with zero calories. So um, compared to other brands, you're avoiding a lot of that extra sugar, um, but zero calorie options like this, you can throw into your rice bowls, your any type of meals basically, and not worry about the extra calories and focus on the main uh, macros, such as your, if you have meat in there, if you have like eggs in there or rice in there. Um, so definitely recommend checking this out. You could probably find this in any big grocery store, um, G Hughes. Uh, there's another brand that I'll walk you guys through once I find it somewhere in the store that I definitely recommend checking out as well. Uh, so one of my favorite, I don't drink regular milk just because I'm lactose intolerant, but Fairlife is a very good brand. I think they're pretty new as well. 
Um, I started drinking this like two years ago, but um, they have like regular milk if you don't like chocolate milk, but uh, very low in fat, 4.5 grams, um, pretty moderate in, in carbs and pretty high in protein, so 13 grams of protein as well. Um, and this I, I'll usually have by itself, like a cup at night before I go to sleep or uh, or mixing it, mix it in with like smoothies or uh, cereal in the morning. So that, definitely recommend trying this out if you're lactose intolerant or if you need some kind of alternative to like almond milk or regular milk. All right, so another one of my staples, I eat like multiple of these uh, throughout the day is Greek yogurt. So uh, be careful with the type of yogurt that you're getting. So I usually get um, the light and fit. Just make sure you're looking at the macros because a lot of times it'll be the regular uh, yogurt. But the nice thing about this is it's pretty moderate in carbs and protein. Um, so if you need to fill up your uh, macros for the day or if you need a solid snack to eat, um, you can throw these in. And again, it's, it's very low in volume. So if you want to have it before a workout, um, it's a very good option. And they taste amazing as well. So I usually like the regular uh, vanilla coconut option, but they have tons of others and tons of other brands as well. So, and they're pretty cheap. Like I think this is like $3 for one pack. So definitely try this out if, you're, uh, if you need some ideas to fill, up, fill in those small gaps in your uh, macros day to day. All right, so uh, a lot of people have misconceptions about cereal, so they're actually not bad. So um, usually they're pretty standard for almost all the brands I've, I've tried in the past. So um, I just grabbed a regular, like a normal one to show you guys, um, but it's usually around like 30 grams of carbs, so pretty equal to if you're having like a cup of rice. But um, pretty good option for just having a, a solid, solid uh, carbs within your macros day to day. Um, and I usually like to make this, mix this in with protein to even it out a little bit, but um, it's really up to you on, on that. So definitely recommend trying that out as well. All right, so another two of my staples. So uh, this is what I was referring to earlier. So this is zero calorie uh, pancake syrup. And uh, the brand is Walden Farms, but they have tons of other options, not just the pancake syrup, but it tastes amazing. Um, so I usually have it with uh, Kodiak cakes, which is right here. Um, so people refer to it as like protein pancakes, but um, pretty high in carbs and protein. So for one serving, you're getting almost 30 grams of carbs um, and then 15 grams of protein. And the nice thing about this is one serving, it tastes amazing, I think, as well, if you mix it in with the eggs and with the Walden Farm syrup. Um, and it won't have you feeling bloated as well. So it's a really good option to have in the morning or even before a workout. All right, so I have a huge sweet tooth, so I've been looking for alternatives and I finally found a pretty solid one. Um, so there's multiple different brands like this. They're Greek yogurt bars, so I call it ice cream, but uh, very low in calories and fat. So only two grams of fat for just one serving of this, uh, 16 grams of carbs, and then five grams of protein. So it's a very good snack to have. Um, again, if you're, if you're looking to fill in those gaps and especially at night, if you're craving something really sweet, um, having something like this at home will definitely help you out, especially if you're cutting. So definitely recommend trying it out. And again, they have multiple different brands like Skinny Cow, um, Enlightened, and then a few others. But I usually, I've been getting Yasso. Um, they have really good flavors. So I definitely, definitely recommend this if you, need it, if you need a recommendation for one. All right, so one of my uh, lunch and dinner staples is rice. So I usually have like one cup of rice mixed with like uh, chicken or meat or shrimp, like any kind of protein um, option. So one gram, or sorry, one cup of rice for almost any brand, whether it be uh, brown rice, jasmine rice, or regular white rice, is around like 30 to 34 grams of carbs. I know I'm getting very specific with the numbers, but once you start tracking, you'll kind of start to see that. And that's equal to if you're having like two uh, ounce, two, Sorry, eight ounces of like chicken breast, for example. So a uh, very good option and very easy option to have if you're going to work or at school. Um, mixes in with almost any kind of protein option. Um, and an alternative if you don't like rice is like usually like a one cup, one cup of pasta or uh, serving of any type of bread as well. So definitely recommend trying that out. And my favorite brand for rice is Uncle Ben's and you can find this at almost any grocery store as well. So um, try it out and let me know what you guys think. All right, so I'll walk you guys through a good, another option, another alternative to having rice or um, like bread for dinner. So pasta is actually not that bad, contrary to whatever you know you might be seeing on social media. People have a really, really bad relationship with carbs, but um, trust me, it's not as bad as people think. So. Uh, for most marinara sauces, if you're making pasta or spaghetti, for example, uh, it's very low in calories. So for like, for example, right here, it's only 80 calories, only uh, pretty high in fat, but like, but uh, carbs wise, it's like eight grams. So it's not terrible. And again, you can have this mixed with pasta, which I'll walk you guys through over here. 
Um, and most pasta options are pretty standard as far as the macros go. So for one serving, you're probably looking around, um, yeah, 40 grams of carbs for one serving, seven grams of protein. So pretty high for like a carb option and low in fat, so two grams of fat. So it's very uh, solid to have throughout your day, whether it be for dinner um, or for lunch. Um, so if you're trying to like change things up and not have chicken and rice every day, I definitely recommend trying out pasta and then throwing in your uh, protein options into there, whether it be shrimp or chicken or beef um, or egg whites, whatever it is, whatever makes you guys happy. But definitely recommend trying that out and I, I'm pretty sure. And different options for uh, sauce as well. So it doesn't even have to be marinara sauces. Plenty of other options and you still get the same macros as well. All right, so we're in my favorite section of all in any grocery store. So um, this is the, I think the bread aisle, but I refer to it as the breakfast aisle because I have most of my bread in the morning. Um, so my staples for breakfast is usually, um, you'll probably see this in my stories. Uh, so I have, I don't really care about the brand too much, um, but I think this is one of the more fa famous brands when it comes to muffins. Um, so I usually throw in like two of these, uh, which is like close to 30 grams of carbs each. Um, so very solid. And what I have with this is the egg whites and um, usually not cheese, but usually egg whites and whole eggs um, just to add in that extra protein. And one of my other favorite options for breakfast is the bagel. So I usually have like the everything bagel or everyday bagel, um, but this is another whole wheat option. So if you're looking to have less calories and less carbs, but pretty centered on the macros from brands and brands. So you'll be having close to 50 grams of carbs. So pretty high in carbs uh, and pretty high in protein as well. It's 11 grams of protein, but if you throw it in with like egg whites um, or maybe like a scoop of protein powder, um, it'll even it out throughout the day. So definitely, definitely recommend trying these out for breakfast. It'll keep you energized and full the day. All right, so last but not least, uh, we have my staple for protein. So I'm not a huge red meat or beef person. I'll have it maybe like once or twice a month, but not often. I usually have chicken almost every single day. I'm sorry for all the vegans out there, um, but very standard in protein. So uh, I think I mentioned before, so four ounces of chicken breast is around like 20 to 30 grams of protein. I'm, I'm crazy, so I memorize all the macros for a lot of the food I eat every day. Um, but yeah, they have it labeled. So if you're ever in any kind of smaller grocery store, you'll, you'll be safe. Um, but definitely recommend marinating these. Please marinate it well. Please uh, throw in some kind of, uh, I don't know, dressing afterwards to make it taste good. Um, but I usually have this with rice um, and it keeps it full throughout the day. So I'll usually have this like an hour or two before working out or for lunch or dinner. Um, again, when it comes to, I, I don't like protein powder a lot. I know I talk a lot about that with my clients and a lot of my friends. So a lot of my protein comes from actual protein sources like chicken breast and egg whites and shrimp and also I'll show you, I was gonna show you guys but I couldn't find it um, but I also have turkey bacon in the morning so another meat option that I throw in um, day to day so definitely check this out you can find it anywhere at any grocery store all right guys so hopefully that grocery haul helped you, helped you guys out those are just a few of my uh, staples that I have week to week or day to day actually um, and again, all, a lot of those stuff you can find at almost any grocery store. And don't get too caught up in the brand names. Maybe for like some of the brands like Walden Farms um, or the G Hughes, it, it, it might help out. But for the most part, like chicken breast and eggs, it doesn't really matter what kind of brand you're getting. But as far as tracking macros go, I use MyFitnessPal. So it's a free app from the App Store if you have the iPhone or like Android. Um, I really recommend trying it out. It's, it's a pain in the ass the first maybe one or two weeks. But once you get in the rhythm of things, you'll be able to eyeball foods a lot better. So um, just honestly invest in like a food scale, invest in uh, like cups to measure, um, and you'll be good to go when it comes to the rice and, and the chicken breast and the larger uh, foods that you'll have at, uh, meal to meal. So. Uh, if you have any additional nutritional questions, definitely reach out to me. The best way to honestly reach those fitness goals that you have, whether it be to cut down or to gain weight or uh, maintain, is going to be diet. So you can train as much as you want, you will get progress. But if you're trying to you know, get down to the nitty gritty, you're going to have to start getting serious about your nutrition. And a lot of people think you're going to have to invest in a lot of supplements. No, don't do that. Start out with uh, just normal foods from any grocery store. Honestly, that's what I rely on for most of the time. I don't really take that many supplements. So again, I'm always happy to help. This is, I actually really enjoy talking about this topic as well. So uh, reach out to me through Instagram to leave comments down below with your email address, whatever it is, I'll reach out to you. And again, stay tuned and like and subscribe and share with your friends and family and I'll talk to you guys soon.